All right. As you can see, I have a casking box in front of me. This is not going to be an unboxing video. Just going to talk a little bit about a new BFS, you know, maybe experiment I'm trying. So I've been using some budget BFS reels for about the last year and a half, trying to find ones that work for the type of fishing that I do. And I've had some success and lots of frustration. And when I heard last year and this year that casking was coming out with some models, I was kind of excited because I think they do a good job of kind of having good products at a reasonable price. But to be honest with you, I got the Zephyr and the Valiant Eagle and I was a little disappointed with the craftsmanship and I guess the performance of them. So for the Valiant Eagle, it was more kind of just the build quality. They were two major kind of design features which just seemed like they were completely you know should have been caught and improved upon and that would be the giant gap between the spool and the side plate which you know does cause some issues i like the reel it feels good it casts well but every time i take it out on a river i always put an extra reel in my bag just in case because i feel like i'm gonna get a blow up that's just gonna just cause a disaster because it'll get all tangled and ruin everything and then also the play in the anti-reverse bearing, which isn't caused by it being greased like some of the other models. It's just caused by poor design. And I think they could have done a better job of kind of flushing those out and improving those features. So kind of disappointed there. The Zephyr, nothing major wrong with it. Just kind of underwhelming. It looks the same and kind of built the same as the DMK Alpha SL. And I actually, out of the box, I like the Alpha SL better, even though it comes with a normal long shaft spool, not the short shaft like the Zephyr. And... This full weighed considerably more. It's still, in my opinion, cast better. I did ultimately like the Zephyr better because I didn't have the issues with the anti-reverse or some of the other problems. But again, still, I just kind of underwhelmed with it. Maybe, probably my fault. My expectations were a little too high. But again, yeah, a little disappointed. But I've tried to give it a third shot with Cast King and BFS. And... They have the Meg Mega Jaws BFS model, but this is not it. So two reasons I did not get the Mega Jaws BFS model was number one, my friend ordered it. So I will be able to try it. And if I like it, I can always go ahead and get it. The other reason was the spool I saw was 14.4 grams. And I'm not a huge believer that, you know, it always has to be the lightest spool, but it just seemed odd that the regular Mega Jaws spool was, I think like 13.5 grams or something. So it's almost a gram heavier than a normal spool, which made no sense to me. Again, just seemed like poor design, and I figured I'll try something else. Also, for me, as I said earlier, I've been trying to find BFS reels that fit my needs. And I've kind of broken it down to I use BFS reels for three purposes. One is for like trout and chubs and tiny, tiny streams where I'm using like, you know, four or five foot rods. And I'm using two pound test line and lures from one to four grams and honestly there's haven't really found a bfs budget bfs reel for that purpose for those type of instances i'm usually using my older aldebaran or even light spinning gear so i'm still looking for that i mean for the three and four grams if i go a little heavier i do have budget bfs reels that handle that well and i don't need long cast i just need accurate cast so the, there are some possibilities but just haven't found one I'm really comfortable with there. The other two kind of purposes I use it for, I have found good BFS, budget BFS reels for. And that would be like in bigger rivers for some local Korean species that I like fishing for. And for those I'm using, you know, five and a half to seven foot rods. And I'm using four or six pound fluorocarbon because, you know, they are very finicky fish with good eyesight. And for that, I'm casting middle baits between like three to seven grams. And I found a few budget BFS reels that handle that the way I want to really well. So that's good. And then the last purpose I'm using BFS reels for is for bass, kind of finesse bass tactics like Ned rigs or wacky rigs. And for that, I'm looking for something like, you know, five to 10 grams and either eight pound floral or mono or, you know, 12 to 15 pound braid. And there's a lot of budget BFS reels that can handle that. So, but with this one, I think I could knock off those two higher ends of the spectrum, the bass, finesse bass, and kind of the bigger river fishing. And I went with, 
the Mega Jaws long casting version. So this is the original spool that comes with the long cast spool. And again, this is not a very lightweight spool. It's I think like 14.6 grams, but it is a semi shallow spool. So I figure I could load this up with, you know, eight pound fluoro or, you know, 12, 15 pound braid and use this for finesse passing. Uh, I might upgrade this spool to a ceramic hybrid. I mean, sorry, a bearing to a ceramic hybrid bearing, or I might just clean it out. And that's the stock spool. And then what I did do is I ordered a Alpha, uh, not Alpha, what is it? A C9 Air spool, which is a lightweight 9.2 gram shallow spool. As you can see, I loaded this up with 30 yards of four pound floral coat. And I'm gonna try to use this for kind of the three to seven gram minnow baits. All right. So obviously I did make some changes out of the box. I changed the knobs and the bearings on this reel. Uh, knobs, of course, are preference, you know, personal preference. I kind of got this idea to do this from the, uh, what do you call it? The XF50, and that had these metal knobs, the aluminum knobs. So I kind of mimicked that and just kind of went with a little, I don't know, style. I'm not a huge fan of red and black, but that was the color of this. So I went with that, and we'll see how that works. Uh, again, I'm still... For the last year and a half been searching for things i haven't decided on what type of knob or handle i like best yet so i'm just seeing and i'll kind of hopefully eventually make a decision on that but for this one yeah i just thought i'd go with this and see how it performs and hopefully like i said cover kind of in my opinion the ultralight and kind of been that finesse bassing spectrum by having these two different spools have this one filled up with you know four pound floral and have this one spilled up pulled up with either braid or a pound floral. So now with this spool, it does say that it's rated for eight pounds, 90 yards. So I imagine if I, you know, get 75, 80 yards on it and that's enough and see how it does with, like I said, Ned rigs, wacky rigs, other finesse tactics for bass. And then see how this spool, which I did upgrade the bearings on the side plate and on, well, I can't really take it off because I got this thing on, but to the ceramic bearings. We'll see how this performs on the lighter metal baits and hopefully it's better than the Zephyr, but if not, then I guess I just scrap the extra spool experiment and go with the finesse bassing technique. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if any of you did get the Mega Jaws BFS model on how that does perform and if that spool is that heavy and what do you think about it? Also, what do you guys think about spool weight? Like I said, for me, I don't think there's a direct correlation between having a later spool and having better casting distance all the time. I mean, obviously, sometimes there is, but there are other factors that go into it, too. And then let me know what you would use these spools for and what do you use BFS for? And last thing, maybe what do you recommend as the best BFS handle setup? Again, I'm still kind of searching for that. All right, thanks for watching and appreciate any feedback and have a good one. And Good luck fishing. Take care, guys.